What up my people, Chris Shoup here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make $5,000 a month using Pinterest. It's a pretty easy system, just about anyone can do it, and after I show you how to create the system, I'm going to show you how you can automate it so that it becomes 100% passive income. I've told you before in previous videos that making money is easy, and in this video, I'm really gonna prove it to you. This system is ridiculously easy. Just about anybody could do this and could get it done within a matter of a few hours. Now, if you're not super familiar with Pinterest, that's okay. I wasn't either until very recently. Pinterest is a social media site that revolves around sharing pictures, and it's not like Instagram where you share your own pictures and everybody else shares their own pictures. They are pictures that are meant to be shared over and over again. So so you post an interesting picture and then if somebody else likes that picture, they share that picture and other people share that picture. So it's really easy for pictures to go viral. And the uh, key difference too is that all of the pictures can have a link associated with them and a description. So you can share a picture with a description and a link to your website or whatever it is you're trying to sell. And if people like the picture, you'll get a lot of people that will share the picture. And in doing so, they're also sharing your link and your description. Now this is a simple six step process and I'm going to walk you through what those steps are and how exactly to do them in just a moment. But for now, let's talk about the overall strategy. The strategy is that we share something interesting on Pinterest, we get people to click on the link, the link takes them to either a blog or a YouTube video, whichever you're more comfortable with. And from there, when people read the blog or when people watch the video, we tell them to click on a link which sends them to an offer. And when they purchase the offer, we make money. So you're putting your audience through a simple three-step process. Pinterest to your blog or your YouTube channel to the sale. That's it. Sounds simple enough, right? Great, well now I'm going to walk you through the six steps you need to make this actually happen. Now the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna kind of work backwards from the end goal. So the first thing we need to do is figure out what is our end goal? What is the product that we want to sell? So if you don't have a product, don't worry. You don't need to have your own product. If you do have your own product, then awesome. But if you don't have your own product, then you can use an affiliate product. If you're not familiar with affiliate products, that just means that you're selling somebody else's product for them and you're getting a commission. So it's real easy to find affiliate marketing products. So uh, I use a, a few websites. I use ClickBank. This is one that's good for online courses in particular. JVZoo.com. This one is good for like uh, marketing software and that kind of thing. And probably there's some overlap here, but this is my, my basic knowledge of these. And then you can also do with Amazon right? This Amazon affiliates program. It's affiliate program, affiliate dash program.amazon.com where anything that exists on Amazon, you can get paid to sell it. And you don't get a big commission, right? With the uh, ClickBank or JVZoo, you'll get like 50% commission, sometimes like 75%. With Amazon, you'll get like 10 to 20%. So um, you get more choices of like of physical products with Amazon, but with the other two, you get paid more. So um, use either your own product or something you found on Amazon or something you found on an affiliate site. So that's step one. Step two is to create a blog or a YouTube channel on the, um, with it that's related to the thing that you're selling. And you don't, you don't even have to like maintain this blog or this YouTube channel. All you really need is one blog post or one YouTube video. I have a program that's teaching people how to be a digital nomad. That is how to make money online and travel the world. Cause I've been doing that for several years. I think it's a lot of fun. I'm in Rio right now. I'll put the link in the description in case you're interested in that. But anyway, that's the product I will, I will uh, talk about for this example. So next step is to create a blog or YouTube channel that has to do with that. And we create one post, right? So you know, if you're gonna create a blog, um, I recommend doing it on medium.com. It's, well, two ways that I recommend. Either you do it on medium.com, which is free, and it also actually refers traffic to you sometimes. Like if I go to the homepage here, here are the, uh, the, the stuff that it's trying to suggest that I go look at, and they're kind of silly <laughs> blogs for the most part. Um, that they suggest on the homepage, but sometimes they will get you some traffic for free that you never asked for. So Medium is kind of cool for that. 
Or if you want to look a little more professional, then actually buy a website, get a WordPress blog and actually buy your domain. So buy a domain that's related to the niche. So if I was uh, selling a digital nomad product, I would name my niche digitalnomaduniversity.com, for example. And then if you create the blog, then what you want to do is you want to write one blog post that is related to the thing that you're trying to sell. So maybe it's a review of the product or maybe it's a list of different products. These do great actually, especially for Amazon. They say, here are the top 10 photography accessories that you need in 2019, something like that. And it has 10 different affiliate links for each of the one, each of the 10. Or you could just say, here's how to make money using YouTube. And then you could link to a course that has to do with making money on YouTube from, from JVZoo or from ClickBank, something like that. Whatever it is, just make sure that the article is somewhat interesting by itself and that it naturally links to whatever it is that you're trying to sell. So write your article on your blog, or if you want to do a YouTube video, it works the same way. You create a YouTube video about the top 10 photography accessories or your review of a product or how to make money on YouTube or whatever it is, you um, create the video on YouTube and then you say, hey, I'm going to link below to in the description to this product, you know, mention the product, say a little bit about what the product does and then link to it. OK, so you want the idea is that you want people to get a little bit familiar. You want people to recognize the benefit of this project of this product rather and then click your link so they actually can go buy the product. By the way, if you're finding this video useful, please go ahead, hit the thumbs up icon, hit the subscribe button, and hit the little bell icon beside the subscribe button, which will mean that you were the first to get all my new videos as they come out. And of course, if there's anybody that you know that you think might be able to benefit from the information in this video, please share it with them as well. Okay, now step four is to go to Pinterest and create an account if you don't have one already. Or if you already have one, you can use your existing account. And then create a board that's related to the product that you're trying to sell. So I'll use my example where I'm selling a digital nomad course, right? So people who want to be digital nomads are going to be people who are interested in traveling, right? So I will make myself, I already did this actually, so I'll show you what I did. Uh, a board is a collection of, of pins, which are pictures, basically a collection of pictures that are related to a certain topic. So um, I will show you I have this board called Travel Fun, right? And I click on that and it's a bunch of travel pictures, a bunch of like cool places, like some temple somewhere and there's some crazy waterfall and a big castle, right? So all sorts of really cool stuff that you can see if you're traveling. So I wanna make it as like eye-catching as possible. And so you wanna create the board that's related to whatever it is that you're trying to sell. So in this case, for me, it's travel. And then you want to add some some um, content on your board. So one of the easiest ways to do that is just search up here and just search travel. And then here you go, all these wonderful travel pictures and I can just hit this uh, save. I can select travel fun and then hit save and then it'll save it to my board. And I can just save a bunch of them, right? So in like five minutes, I can have a nice full board already. Okay, so now that you've got your board created, step five is to find some images to put on your board that are your own. And when I say your own, I don't really mean your own. I mean that they weren't just repin because it's really easy to just go hit repin, hit save. But the problem with that is that you're not sharing your link, you're sharing somebody else's link. So you want to share your link. So what, what you do is go to, uh, go to Google Images and find some cool striking images that are related to your topic. So in my case for travel, let's say I want uh, amazing beaches. Go look at images and then I will find the coolest pictures and there are a lot of cool pictures, right? They come up right at the beginning. Uh, and I will go ahead and save these into a folder and just save a whole bunch of them into a folder. After saving them, I will go back to my board and boards, travel fun. And then I hit this little plus button to do a new pin, hit create pin. And then I'm going to select my photo, add a title to it, 
And then I'm going to say uh, something like, love this amazing beach. You could travel every day of the year. Click the link to learn how. And then I put my link. So whenever anybody sees this photo, they see my description. It says, love this amazing beach. You can travel every day of the year. Click the link to learn how. And that will take me to, or that will take the person to either my blog post or my YouTube video. And then that will show up on your, on your board. It will show up as a new pin. So it'll show up here. It'll show up as the uh, most recent one. And then if anybody clicks on it, they will automatically go to your link, whatever your link was, to your YouTube video or to your blog. Now this part you're gonna wanna do every day. You're going to want to post a new picture every day for every board that you have and put a description that's enticing that gets people to click on your link and then put the link to whatever you want them to go to. And I'm gonna show you later in the video, I'm gonna show you how to automate this process so you don't have to do any manual work at all. Like the computer program will just post for you. But um, you'll want to do it yourself a few times first, just so you get a feel for it. Now, the last step, step six, is that you want to search for other boards. That you want to search for popular boards that are in your niche. And then you want to find the people who are following them and follow as many of them as you can. I think the Pinterest limit is 300 per day. So you want to follow 300 per day that are interested in whatever niche you're looking for. So um, they give it to me right here. So let's say luxury travel. And then, uh, no, that's not what I wanted. I want to look for boards, right? Look for boards. So let's look at the first one, Luxury travel Traveler. This one has 30,000 followers, which is awesome. So I'm going to take a look at who all the followers are, and I'm just going to go through and go follow, 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 et cetera, until I get to 300 follows per day and then Pinterest blocks me from getting any more. And you're going to want to do this once a day. You're going to want to follow 300 people a day. Okay, now let me tell you why this works. When you follow somebody on Pinterest, they get a notification that says that you followed them, and most people don't get a whole lot of followers, so they are curious to know who you are. So. Oftentimes, they will click on your profile and take a look at your profile. They will see all your pins, they will see all your boards, and then if something catches their eye, they might go to that pin, and if the description entices them to click on the link, they will click on the link, and if they wanna buy the product, they'll buy the product, right? Now, not only that, but also, a lot of people feel that if you follow them, it's only polite to follow you back. So a lot of people will follow you back. What that means is that they will get all of your future pins as well as the pin that they first saw or the pins that they first looked at. On top of that, you already know that these people are interested in the niche that you're promoting. So probably they're gonna find some pins in your boards that they think are pretty cool, usually just for the picture. Remember, Pinterest is all about sharing pictures. So if you have an interesting picture, people will want to share it. And then when one person shares it, maybe somebody else finds it from them and the sharing capacity is basically infinite. It's pretty easy to get a photo that wasn't even a photo that you created. It's just a photo you took off of Google Images or something. You can get that photo to go viral. And the more people share your photo, the more people are sharing your link and the more people are driving traffic to your blog, to your YouTube channel, and ultimately to your offer. Now, if you're thinking that this involves some monotonous work, well, you're right. You gotta post pictures every day and you gotta post your descriptions and you gotta post your links and then you have to go hit the follow button on 300 different people. It is kind of monotonous. So I'm also going to show you how you can automate it completely so you're not doing any of that boring work at all. Now for following people, that's the easiest part of the work, right? So I just hire a virtual assistant to do that for me. And you can do the same thing. Virtual assistants are people who work for very cheap to do monotonous tasks like that. So you can go on upwork.com or freelancer.com and find a virtual assistant who can do that kind of work. You can pay 
three dollars an hour sometimes or even less right because the work is so easy so you can get somebody to follow 300 people a day you just write up a quick document for them saying hey search for this search term find some popular boards and then follow all the people who are following that up to 300 people right pretty easy and you can hire somebody to do it for super cheap now the more complicated part of this process is the posting the actual pictures and then posting with your descriptions and with your links etc but amazingly I I found a software that does it all for me that automates that process completely. It's a software called Pinflux and I won't walk you through it in too much detail. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in checking out that software but basically what it does is it lets you search for a certain niche. So if I'm searching digital nomad for example that's my niche or I'm searching travel. I just search in travel it automatically loads a whole bunch of images from Google Images. I just click on a whole bunch of them that I like and then it automatically posts those images with and I put a description and I put a link and it will actually access your Pinterest account and post for you so you can have it post once a day two times a day three times a day whatever you want it will automatically post those in those images that you chose from Google images and it will post with the description and with the link so you basically you set up the program once and then forget about it it does all the work for you it's totally awesome saves me a ton of time and you can add multiple boards too so basically as many boards as you want uh, if you have have multiple products that you're trying to sell for example and you have a different board for each of them it can automatically post to all of those boards at the same time so it's really amazing software again I'll put the link to it in the description check that out if you want to save a whole bunch of time so that's all you need to completely automate the process pin flux to post the pictures for you and then a virtual assistant to do all the following for you and then from there you just sit back and let the paychecks roll in and by the way you can repeat this process as many times as you want right so you have one product and you create one Pinterest board for that and one blog post or one YouTube video well if you want to double your money just choose another product and then make another blog post or another YouTube video and then create another Pinterest board for it and then there you go now you have two products that are driving you money you can keep going you can make three you can make a hundred different products if you want it's just you keep on multiplying your income now now one little thing that I want to warn you about is that this will not start making you money overnight. It does require some time to build up and accumulate. When you start out you have zero followers, nobody cares about your pins, nobody cares about your boards, nobody's shared anything. You have to build that up over time but as you build your boards, build your blog, build your YouTube channel, whatever it is, your progress expands exponentially. Like I explained in this video all about digital marketing, you are creating assets and they are expanding exponentially. So the longer you keep at it, the more money that you will make. But don't expect to make money right away. And that's kind of why most people fail at this because they do this for one day or two days and they don't see any money yet and they're like, oh, this doesn't work, I give up. You have to give it some time. Now if you guys are interested I can put together a little cheat sheet for you like a little PDF document that walks you through all of the steps you know like a one page document so you don't have to watch this video and pause and take notes all the time so if you're interested uh, leave me a comment just tell me that you would be interested in that cheat sheet and if I get enough people that are interested then I'll go ahead and put it together and tell you guys how to get it. Now if you guys enjoyed this video I think you'll also really enjoy this video which tells you how you can start making money even with no monetary investment at all so you can make money even if you're completely broke so check out that video now and also don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so that I know that you're enjoying this content and that you want more in the future